No, you don't really know Jim. Sure, you think he's just heads down, work, work, worker, worker guy. So you and I see every day at the office. That guy. Probably wouldn't guess. Super romantic. Yeah. Not all of the old timers know it. I saw him before. It's sad, really, him being romantic. I mean, it's beautiful, but you know, tragic. Because there's limits for people, normal people, regular people. Emotions go to a point and then they stop, you know, having a point. But Jim, apparently Jim doesn't have the turning point that is supposed to come with time, with age, with life change changes. He just keeps on loving people, trying to please them, obsessing <laughs> like that can keep people together. <laughs> Love. People don't stay together for anything other than complications that force them to keep it together. Kids, houses, these things force a stalemate. But if you don't have those, then what? You're going to spend Precious time in your short life working on a relationship? Ooh, gross. If it starts to require work, nope, done. That's human. That's how we are. Even if you want to stick around and agree to rewrite the terms of the agreement or you feel really, really bad about ripping up the contract anyway, it just happens to people. It's inevitable. So really, Jim chose to get his heart broken just by being a romantic. He was like, I don't know, his brain is from another generation. So yeah, it was bad. It was ugly. Terrible to watch. Ten years, and he was as in love as he was when it began. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, who else on the planet is like that? That's just weird. As an adult, you're supposed to know already that we're hedonistic, like dumb, you know, the crash test dummies, flying, hurtling, I guess, toward a wall. Of course, a seatbelt like Jim is probably better for us, but we just, I don't know, crashes are more exciting. I guess the thrill of losing it all heightens the moment that might cause you to lose it all. So we do it, we crash. And then we all end up tiptoeing around a big pile of romantics like Jim. And then we're the ones burdened with trying not to stir up their painful memories. So my point is, fair warning, do not talk relationships with Jim. Because I really messed him up. <laughs> 